Welcome to the Rugby League Bunker, the show where we review the big issues around the game. My name's Clint, thanks for joining us. So let's get this thing on. On this week's update, we've got results from round 20 of the NRL, round 21 of the Super League, and we'll update you on the standings of both competitions as we start the run into the finals. Let's get into it. To NRL results first, and in round 20, the Roosters defeated a depleted Manly 20 to 10. Melbourne Storm got up over the Warriors. That snapped a four-game losing streak for the Storm. Parramatta with a huge upset over Penrith. Penrith have only lost two games this season, both to Parramatta, so that could be interesting watching that match up if they happen to get into a position to meet each other in the finals. The Raiders over the Titans. The Sharks got up over the Bunnies in, in Golden Point Extra Time, 21-20. The Broncos finally made their way into the top four last week, but ended up going down to the bottom side, West Tigers, so disappointing there for the Broncos. Canterbury over a disappointing Newcastle, and the Cowboys convincing winners over the Dragons. And that leaves us with a ladder looking like this. The Panthers still well out in front, but they will spend the next month or so without their star halves pairing Cleary and Luai. The Cowboys in second position. They'll be battling for a top four spot against the Sharks, Storm, Broncos, Eels and Rabbitohs. The Roosters round out the top eight. They'll be, take, they'll be taking on the Raiders, Sea Eagles and Dragons for that eighth position. And holding up the ladder and realistically out of finals contention now, the Bulldogs, Warriors, Knights, the Tigers have dragged themselves off the bottom of the ladder with that upset win over the Broncos, and the Titans are currently holding the wooden spoon. To Super League now in round 21, Wigan a dominant victory over Hull KR. KR's crosstown rivals Hull FC getting up over Toulouse in France. Last place, Wakefield Trinity, an upset victory over the Castle of Tigers, 32-6. Huddersfield getting up over Warrington, 32-22. Leeds edging Catalans at a high-scoring affair. And Salford upsetting first place St Helens, and what a dominant way to do that, 44-12. St Helens still dominant in the standings despite the loss this week. Wigan, Huddersfield, Catalans, Castleford and Salford rounding out the top six. Hull FC, Leeds and Hull Kingston Rovers still in finals contention. Warrington looking unlikely at this stage. Wakefield Trinity dragged themselves off the bottom of the table this week with an upset victory and Toulouse in last place. However, that relegation battle between Wakefield and Toulouse is very much still alive with the bottom side going down at the end of the season. And that's us updated for the week. If you enjoyed the content, please like the video, share it, leave your comments down below and consider subscribing to the channel. It helps us out greatly and is much appreciated. See you next week.